Hello guys, this is my TiVo 3D printer and I reckon it's going to be the end of free killer. But I'm not here to talk to you about it today, I'm here to talk to you about how to install a MOSFET. And I hear you ask, why upgrade? Well, it'll achieve better performance from a printer's hotbed, which will lead to less failures. Also, the motherboard in the printer will be working less hard due to the MOSFET in that being so small and a such a small heatsink you can get overpowered and cooked. This will also lead to the connectors melting. And these connectors are much better so these don't melt. And the most important upgrade is less chance of fires. And in my opinion, everybody wants that. Nobody wants their possessions to burn. And the last upgrade is, it looks pretty cool. So, I bought this on AliExpress for £6. And I will link it in the description. And I won't get any of the profits from the sale. But instead, please subscribe to me, that'd be my profit. And also, if you're not buying it, please subscribe anyway, as you'll always get good quality prints for the rest of your life. Now, to start this upgrade, what you want to do, you want to put a printer on this side. So you can access the power supply. And what you're going to do first is unscrew the and key for a power supply to access the power supply connectors. I recommend pausing here and study this diagram. Also, make sure that the positives and negatives in your power supply are correct, as in my power supply, it was opposite way round. I am unscrewing the spare negative and positive terminals. These will be the new power leads for the MOSFET. Once you have attached the two cables, you're ready to remount your power supply to a 3D printer. Now I'm connecting a MOSFET as followed by the diagram. Now I'm taking out the original hotbed wires as this will be connected to the MOSFET. I needed to extend the wires from the hotbed as these were long enough to reach the MOSFET. So just sold some additional wires. Make sure you use the right gauge wire. As it's imperative a short circuit cannot happen, I insulated the wires with a heat streak tubing. A short circuit could cause a fire. Now the wiring is done, we can connect the XC60 back together. Soon I will 3D print the case for this. I fit under here. We'll see if it works before I print the case out. Now we turn the printer back over. Now all the wiring's done. The printer should work. So now we're gonna plug it in. Hopefully it doesn't explode, because that'd be quite bad. Now I'm gonna switch the printer on. Hopefully no fire or explosions happen or electrocution. Oh good. Nothing happened yet. The temperature gauge is working, so I know it's working now. Now, um, let's do a test print. So much for getting to end this video. It means so much to me. And also, if you subscribe, I'll be very, very grateful, as it really helps. And if you have any, any other ideas on how I can modify this machine, or make it more efficient and better, please tell me, as I am so, so happy to hear about it. And comment how I can improve my videos, and thank you so much for watching. So, see you later. Two hours later. It's actually printing. Oh my god. I never thought this day would happen.